guys, it's Jessica. Sorry this is a day late for those that are keeping track. Which I don't think anyone is, but thanks if you are, that's cool. Um, so as my classes went Wednesday, I'm sure you can guess how anatomy went. Which you're probably right. Um, we talked about DNA and race. And besides that, I really didn't pay attention. I was writing Brittany notes back and forth, um, so that was that class. I didn't do anything. I wrote down what he said to write down, but that was about it. Um, psychology, we talked about polls and surveys and experiments and blind studies and double blind studies, which if you don't know what either one of those are, blind study is where the people in the group don't know if they're the ones being studied or if they're the ones that are like false study. And then double blind study is where the experimenter doesn't even know which group's which. So you can get more of a uh, correct reading, I guess. Um, she's talking about polls and surveys and how many people have participated in them and why, which everyone that raised their hand participating in a survey was like I got food out of the deal like one girl said she got a $10 Sonic gift card and one guy said that he got free Long John Silver's food but oh well I've done a, I've done a few surveys before one for my sister's fiance's company I'm not gonna mention but um basically they wanted you to call in and talk about this certain department so, I did it, just to make them look good, I guess. Um, other than that, I really don't know much survey, much of the surveys that I've done. I've done a few online, different polls and stuff. Um, don't do voting, so that's out of the picture. I'm not even registered to vote. Um, history class. We talked about the westward movement and cowboys and Indians and moving cattle. And um, he told a joke, which was pretty funny, I thought. And it was, there's a group of guys standing at a golf course, and the first guy's about to tee off. And a line of cars from a funeral starts to drive by, which he pauses and takes his hat off and bows his head and says a prayer. And the guys around him were kind of stunned. Well, once the line of cars finished traveling by, the man puts his hat back on and is about to tee off. And all the other guys were like, you know, that's really that's really impressive and respectful for you to do that. That's that's amazing. Which the guy kind of shrugged and was like, it's the least I could do. We've been married for 34 years. I know, it's mean, but it was funny. Um, and... There was a girl in that class that asked, she was talking about, we were talking about um, how they used to move cattle from Texas to Kansas, which was called the, um, I don't remember what it was called, but, um, you know, I was just shaking, sorry if I'm shaking because I'm shaking my foot, but, yeah. Um, she asked, she's like, well, what do they do if they have to go to the bathroom? I was like, are you serious? Wow. Did you not go to high school? Um, he was like, they went. He goes, guys aren't modest about going to the bathroom. And, um, somebody asked if deodorant had been invented then. And he was like, no, they, they roughed it. It never means. And we talked about prostitutes back then. And saloons. Gunfights and... All that stuff. Um, which, I mean, that class is still my best class, believe it or not. Even though I, I hate history. Um, my English class, I get in there, and it's our in-class writing assignment. My first one. Which, if you watch my first video, I suck at writing. I, I'm terrible at writing. I'm not even kidding. I'm not exaggerating. I would much rather do a research paper than write. Than, like creative writing. I'm terrible at it. 
Um, she had seven topics that we could pick from to write on, and she wanted us to do like a descriptive writing. And she said as soon as you finish writing your paper, which it had to be two to three good developed paragraphs long, that you could leave. Well, there's this one girl that gets done in five minutes. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Well, I keep writing, and I'm, I do the whole brainstorming and stuff. I'm still writing, and more people are getting up and leaving. Which, that's putting pressure on me. I'm like, gosh, why can't I just get this done? And more people keep leaving. I'm still writing. Um, I'm still writing, and there's still people getting up and leaving. I'm like, crazy. Ends up, I'm the last person to leave. Why am I feeling stupid? God. But I didn't feel stupid. I just, I can't write. I can't put my thoughts on paper. Terrible at putting my thoughts on paper. Um, so that was that class. Um, after that I didn't do much. I came home, text a little bit. I love to text. I text all the time. Um, went and rented a movie, which I rented Freshman Orientation, which I didn't watch. My brother watched it, so it's pretty stupid. Um, like stupid funny though, so I don't know. And then I took that back. I took that back Wednesday, so I had I didn't rent it. I took it back Wednesday, which I rented another movie called Misconception, which is pretty funny. I don't know, like it was pretty funny. I laughed at some parts, some of it was stupid, but it was a pretty cute movie. Um, which I had to take that back today, which I rented two other movies, um, Felon and. Mama's Boy, which has the guy from Napoleon Dynamite, has ne Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon. Um, so that should be really funny, which I'll probably watch one of those tonight. Um, I gotta see my nephew Connor today, which, he's adorable, he cries a lot though, but he's a baby. He's seven or eight weeks old, I think. Um... He actually likes coming into my room because I have a bunch of posters, so he looks all over my room. Um, that's about it. I slept in pretty late today. I bet you can't guess how late I slept in. Probably not. For most of you, you're probably like 10, 11 o'clock. Nope, that's not what I consider sleep in. That's still getting up early. Um. Go on MySpace a lot today. YouTube. Obviously. Um. That's about it. I watched. Watched a few videos today. The obvious ones. Um. That's it. Uh, I have a total of five subscribers now. Which my recent one is Lucky Little Mama. And I don't know if she has a number behind it or not, but um, that would be Cassie, which is a family friend, almost like a sister, and she lives down in Georgia, so I haven't seen them in a while. And sorry for that loud rustle sound, y'all can even hear it, I kicked a bag. Um, but that's about it. I hope y'all have a wonderful Labor Day weekend, and I'll probably put out another video on Monday, just for the heck of it. So, thanks for watching, hope you subscribe.